I don't got a reason to lie. They gave me the key to the sky. What's up and welcome to the Weightlifting Way of Life podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Ryan Capers. This is Bailey Force and Dr. CJ De Palma. And today we're going to be talking about the great weightlifting meme war of 2018. Kind of give you a recap on what's going on. And uh, we're going to give it to our, our resident news host, Bailey Force, to kind of oh, okay. give us an overview. Please give us an overview of, of kind of where all this stuff started. It seems like just recently this got going, all these meme pages. But go ahead, yeah, take it away. Uh, the meme pages have been going great. Like just out of nowhere, all of a sudden these weightlifting memes come out like page after page. They died down for a little bit. They're back up. And there's just so many of them just like, uh, what is it? Not pen, pen. Uh, it's making it fun of Glenn. Pen, pen Yeah, that pen one. And good. then uh, Team Dote. Uh, Mister Coach, Coach. The original was weightlifting, please. Yeah, weightlifting, the, and that was. was like back in like early 2017. Weightlifting, please, which was originally Nike weightlifting. Oh yeah, yeah, the one with the frog in the face. Yeah, yeah, I know and that then one. Nike, yeah. Nike yeah. actually <laughs> shut him down. Oh okay. Uh, either bought the name from him or shut. Well, he had to change the name. Right. But uh, so whatever, mm-hmm. whatever reason why that happened. Um, and, uh, and then changed it to weightlifting, please. And that way he was memeing really hard for right, everybody forever. followed him. Everybody yeah, loved was, that page. He crushed it. And now, uh, he actually sold the page, sold the page or gave it to somebody. I know it's under somebody else's oh, control really? now. Yeah. I saw a post about it. Um, so the, uh, so now the same person that runs it now runs a couple other pages, but you know, he didn't post for a long time. And now other people are posting. Yeah. And now there's a t- now there's a ton of them, like Fatty Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> That's that my face? favorite name. Uh, Bailey make- Bailey has a meme, or no Tyler has a meme. Does it only page. make fun of Maddie? Is it just a page dedicated to making fun? of I Maddie? think it's a little no, bit of everybody. Just, yeah, it's oh, everybody. Man. It would have been great if it was just making fun of Maddie. Yeah. No, sure all all of them make fun of everybody, but Team Don't strictly making fun of like strictly team do and the things that john north does that's awesome yeah. um, which which i you know hats off to john north i know at first he did not like it and i would understand why i mean i wouldn't like somebody making fun of me all the time yeah. i wouldn't be crazy about it right and then <laughs> too bad he doesn't know that we do <laughs> and you know he he got real upset over it at first understandably but then he just ate it up he just said okay yeah this stuff's funny i'm right, gonna yeah. take myself a little less serious and he just started laughing along and commenting on it, saying this is great stuff, and reposting it. And yeah. I, you know, I, I can't I can't say enough good stuff about that. I think that's a good move. Rule number one on the internet: don't feed the trolls. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's, and that's what. Or feed the trolls, but for your own self gaining. Right. It's your own yeah. trolling. Which Tyler, I don't know if you know about this, but Tyler has his own meme page now, Does he really? and it's Mavis Trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good one. That is that's a, good. a pretty good one. <laughs> wait, wait, has he's he been posting? Get, he's got to get some posts on it. Mavis he's got trash. two followers. Everybody oh. go follow. Mavis, go follow Mavis tra- Trash. Mavis Trash. Is it Mavis underscore? Think underscore, yeah. Underscore Trash. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, and so the John North move, I think, is the best move you can make. Yeah. You got to oh, yeah. absorb you the trolls. It. You got to embrace it. Yeah. If you don't, yeah. embrace just... it. I was trying to remember that word. Yeah. <laughs> Big words. <laughs> that's my word that's of the, the day. That's the doctor words. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, you got to embrace it. Yeah, and I think it's like taking things lightheartedly and not taking things personally because they're not attacking you. They're just having fun with you type of yep. thing. I right. don't know if that's yep. – now let's talk about the other end of the spectrum, the the Queen Bee herself, what, uh, Maddie Rogers. Fill us in on that one. Is she Queen Bee? Yeah, I don't know. I just oh, saw okay. that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if she's like taking things personally or what what she's doing, but she stuff she's been posting uh, on tell, Twitter. Tell us about the Kate Vibert situation first. Okay, Kate Kate Vibert. She just posted something that's saying uh, Maddie Rogers just blocked me or whatever, um, and for no reason seemingly no reason whatsoever blocked her and then vibert's like just commenting on it all this stuff uh which is crazy because kate vibert seems like one of the sweetest people yeah like and kate vibert's never she hasn't posted anything right like like, let's make that clear that she has never posted anything about maddie rogers yeah if you didn't know who maddie rogers was you wouldn't think she existed right but it's all these other meme pages that that have been trying that have been trying to troll Maddie Rogers and say that Kate Vibert is coming for her, which she is. 
there she's she's a few years younger, a couple years younger. Going to be the same weight class. Yeah, break those records. And has already broken her her junior junior American snatch record. And so she's coming for. Her. And how many more years is she a junior? Uh, I think she's nineteen. Yeah, oh, okay. so we have one more. So one more. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, as a competitor, right? We were talking about this on the CrossFit Games recap. As a competitor, when things get tough, do you bow out? Tough get going. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> do you bow out, or do you you get your ass in gear and pick it up? Well, you got to. Yeah. Well, on that note, you have to train <laughs> to get your ass in gear, right? And you got to prioritize right. your job <laughs> over your social life, right? Well, yeah. So that's a whole other situation. Mean, did for you sure. notice United Lifters just stopped posting anything about Maddie Rogers? Did they really? Like they they had the Maddie Mondays or whatever. It's been a long, long time since they've ever like ever added Maddie, ever done a meme about Maddie, whatever it is. Huh. And uh, Kate Vibert is one of their athletes now. Oh, very yeah. interesting. Maybe that's why. So, or maybe it's because Maddie just doesn't lift weights anymore. Yeah, it about fifty percent of her posts are weightlifting. About fifty percent are uh, EDM festivals, EDM face masks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Kate Vibert made something on her story or whatever that said, uh, "LMAO can't can't wait to get back to training. Can't block me in real life, my friend." Uh, that. <laughs> I I I'd be a little upset if I was her too. Like that. Sure. I mean, that's like like seriously. Like I, if it's if I'm Kate Vibert, like I didn't do anything to you. Right. Yeah. This is everybody. That's probably someone she looked up to for a long time. Right. Yeah. I'm I, certain. Right. I would I mean, feel like very I, confident yeah, saying like, that. Yeah. A lot of female lifters here. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh. Yeah. So. What so else? let's talk about the best part about all of this is USAW's reaction to it. Oh, right. like USAW's reaction all, to all of this, this safe sport is thing? creating safe sport, uh, which, if you didn't know, <laughs> has has nothing has nothing to do with drug use. Which is to, whenever I first heard that, right? Is what I thought sounds it was. like I was just right. about to ask you guys when I heard it. It has to do purely with this is their words misconduct in the sport of weightlifting. Oh, right, because they think they're golf or something that like they're right. Like yeah, because weightlifting is this like super <laughs> humble, quiet, conservative, organized, <laughs> conservative <laughs> sport. Yeah, yeah how, like. When the majority of people walk on stage, tattoos all over their face. Right, are just animals, are, yeah, and are the like the exactly. most are the most broken human yeah. beings. Yeah. Right, you have to be crazy. Right? You have to be yeah, broken. 20, mentally Twenty six makes ten thousand dollars a year. You know, just keeping up right. a gym. Lives out of their car <laughs> yeah. and like only lifts weights and and sleeps, like sleeps eats, and eats chicken yeah. and that's it. Yeah, oh, like, sorry, Bill. I didn't mean to talk about you. <laughs> what? But you know, and so so that's weightlifting's response is yeah. to try and create a safe space. Safe space, right? Right. No. So this is a this get is out a, of here. This is a feelings protector. Yeah, this dude, you, you hurt my feelings. Yeah, you hurt my feelings. Now you're in trouble. Like they so said, they all right, we got to sanction people from lifting. Yes. Holy shit! They said they said okay, we got to create a safe space for our weightlifters because Maddie Rogers is getting upset. All right, safe space, safe sport. Right. That's how we're gonna trick everybody and make them think it's okay. Dude, get the fuck out of here. This yeah, is, who cares? That's get where the whole uh, yeah. Caitlyn Hogan People situation talk popped up. Oh, yeah. What was that? Remind me what that was. The Caitlyn Hogan thing. Uh, Sean Waxman sir, was her coach, right? I think so. Yeah, well, he she said that he called her a cunt. Oh, man. Yeah. Ooh. Said a word that probably should not have been said. Uh. Uh, and then she reported him this safe safe sport thing. And they didn't find anything, so nothing happened to that um, situation. But yeah. it was like a huge deal, and she like says like all this stuff about her because she's a female, she's not respected in the sport or whatever, and all that okay. stuff. And and so Maddie Rogers had the had the gall to post Ooh. on Twitter, <laughs> second big word of the day, <laughs> had, <laughs> to post on Twitter that, uh, in in uh, you might have it verbatim, but something along the lines of. When when we find out who all who runs all of these meme pages, Safe Sport is going to take care of you. Well, what if they're not weightlifters? What are they going to do? They're going to they going to arrest them? Right. I, I mean, okay. So Bailey's got. Will you read that? Part? It says basically all the weightlifting meme pages are getting Safe Sport violations as soon as we identify them. Oh. Seven. Oh man. 18. Like my, my feelings are hurt. And and what's crazy is oh, if you go and look at them. They're all just like nobody's saying anything bad about anybody. Yeah, like I'm the only, I, I take that back. The only bad thing that's being said is like, like, like Colin Burns, who actually has sexual assault charges right now. Right, right. That too, they're saying bad things about well, people that probably need bad things said about him. Right? Didn't he get popped too? Uh, no, he has in the past. Yeah, yeah, I believe. 
I thought he just didn't he just because he can't. No, he was sanctioned because of that. <laughs> oh. the, the charges were dropped, oh. like the actual gotcha. police charges were dropped. But I guess Safe Sport or I whatever uh, you saw decided they were going to sanction him, sanction him anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So I mean, if you're going to talk shit about somebody like that, yeah, fine, sure, right. Somebody that yeah. does stuff like that, absolutely, who cares, right? But. If you go and look at these pages, they're not yeah. saying Matty Rogers is a terrible weightlifter and a horrible human. They're just making jokes. Like, yeah. chill. Like, it's cool. Yeah. Just laugh along. Yeah. And like John North. I'll go back to saying John North. I can't agree enough on his way he's, the way yeah. he's taking it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like that's what it's supposed to be. But hopefully. I mean, I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. That's safe. What is safe sport going to do if these pages are ran by non-competing weightlifters? Which... They probably not since they have so much time on social. Well, no, I lied. A lot of weightlifting have a lot small of, community. Yeah, a lot it's of, a tight community. Yeah. Anyways, I think a lot of this started because, uh, like, when the weightlifting classes changed, Matty Rogers had a huge, like, a ton of stuff to say about that, and a lot of people were kind of just fed up with what hearing about it. I yeah. think the way people reacted and responded to her. No. So I, let's I, troll her. And, yeah, I think uh, that's how a lot of this stuff She's started. She's upset. Let's make her more upset. That's, right. <laughs> that's pretty much what we I mean, ever. that's how the internet works. Yeah. That's right. But, all right, guys, I got to run. I'm going to close it up. Yep. All right, guys, that was our meme breakdown of the weightlifting world. If you're not in the weightlifting world, it's still relatively funny. Look up all the names we talked about. But we're just a physio, a coach, and an athlete talking social media today. All right. <laughs> See you next time. See ya. Got to run. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Uh-huh.